Isaiah 41.13, I'm the Lord your God, who takes hold of your what? Right hand. Now you read in the text, didn't you, about right hand? Why is it more important than left? Any lefties in here? Okay, we're sorry. Yeah, it's all good. But you know what I mean? Why is your right hand so important in the Bible? Because your right hand is your hand of protection. It holds a sword. It holds, you know, protects you. So the right hand is the hand of protection. Uh, your left hand is not. Even in, actually, it's interesting interesting in English. Uh, Latin word for left, guess what it is? It's sinister. You know what Sinister. Sinister means left. If you go to the optometrist, they want to say what your left eye is. They say your sinister oracula. Your left eye is your sinister eye. Wow. The encouragement, eh? For lefties, right? Okay. Question, comment? Anybody? All right. Isaiah 41, 13. takes hold of your right hand. Now, if, if you are facing an enemy, and you want, which hand do you want to have free? I don't want my right hand free. What's God doing? No. Like, but think about it. If God's facing the same direction you are, and he's holding your right hand, what hand is he holding your hand with? Which means which hand of his is free? Isn't that cool? Like, God is holding my right hand, but God leaves my hand to be kind of difficult. I can't really fight this enemy that I'm worried about. But because God is holding my hand, his right hand is free. So, there's another little verse, a couple of verses away. So, do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed. I am God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. The right hand of God is here to protect and strengthen his followers. So, the bottom line is, it doesn't matter where you are, it matters much more whose hand you're holding. If you decided not to come to Columbia, I know that would be terrible, devastating for me, because you wouldn't be here today. But, theoretically, if you were in some other school, and God was being proclaimed, and the Bible was being taught, you can have a great year. It's not just about being in a certain place, it's about the tangible. Hey, does that feel freeing a bit? Some people I know, they're like, they have to go to counseling because they're so anxious about what job they're going to get this summer. I want to be in the right place. I want to be in the right place. Don't worry about it. Hold God's hand, and wherever God puts you, relax. And hold God's hand. It matters less where you are, and more what? Whose hand you're holding. Hey, which one should I do my service practice in? Relax. Hey, it matters more than ten. Who should I get married to? Is there only one? I think I missed her. Relax. Okay. Relax. Right. If you're holding God's hand, now, is there only one person in the whole world you can married to? I don't think so. Okay. There could be a number of people in the world who are passionate about Jesus Christ, who are compatible with you, and if you're holding God's hand, you possibly could marry any one of them and have an incredible, awesome future. I'm like, what? Really? 